Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is May 19th, 2024, and I want to talk to you about Sunspot 3664, which may not be done with us just yet, and I want to bring to your attention this article by Space.com. Huge solar flare launching sunspot has rotated away from Earth, but will it return? Okay, and so this article is discussing this sunspot, which has already been shown to be the size of the sunspot that produced the Carrington event of 1859, which is the worst solar storm in world history recorded. And will this sunspot return? So just because it has gone across uh, the the west limb of the, the sun does not mean that after it rotates back, it will still... Uh, it, it may not still be there. So the possibility of it still being there when it returns. And this article is discussing this uh, sunspot 3664 may not be done with us just yet. Talk about a dramatic exit. The sunspot AR3664, which is about 15 times wider than Earth, has finally rotated out of our planet's view but not before firing off two more big solar storms. The recent solar flares from 3664 were in the X class, the strongest category, an X 3.4 monster that peaked today, May 15th, a few days ago, and an X 2.9 that followed uh, on the same day. And this was also after an 8.7 X flare that happened on May 14th. So. Over the last two days of it being on the west limb, it fired off a number of X-class flares. The big flares that erupted from 3664 over the weekend were accompanied by coronal mass ejections, outbursts that sent huge clouds of solar plasma streaking through space. Because the sunspot was facing Earth at the time, those CMEs slammed into our planet, supercharging the aurora and causing radio blackouts in some places. However, because AR3664 has now rotated away from our planet, any CMEs that may have been launched along with today's X-flares likely won't directly impact us, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA. But have we said goodbye forever to this behemoth sunspot, or will we see it and perhaps impacts from its activities again? This is a possibility, after all. It takes the sun about 25 Earth days to rotate once on its axis. At the equator, the duration varies considerably by latitude, so it takes about two weeks for many features on the solar surface to come back into view. Okay, so if this sunspot left on May 15th, two weeks later, about May 29th, It's going to be coming back around, which means that around the time uh, that I'm watching, June 2nd, when the Devil Comet is going to be closest to Earth, this sunspot is going to be almost in the center of the sun disk. So it takes about two weeks for many features on the solar surface to come back into view. There most likely will be a big sunspot cluster still there, It just may not be near as big or complex and angry as it is right now. Generally speaking, it's been my experience that most of them will persist for about two to three weeks, very strong, and then start to decay, but not necessarily so. The Halloween storm is a good example, he added, referring to a memorable solar flurry from late October 2003. The big region 486 rotated around the limb, and two weeks later, we were We were waiting for it to come back, and there wasn't much to it. It had decayed considerably, but it can happen. There's a good question, and we'll be watching closely. As should we all, in case this giant sunspot treats us to another spectacular celestial light show. This sunspot, which left the Earth-facing side on May 15th, will return in about two weeks. We don't know how big it will be. If it will be as big or bigger or smaller, we do not know, but it will be back around May 29th. As I am watching leading up to June 2nd, this puts this 
sunspot almost in the middle of the disk facing Earth on June 2nd. 3664 in the Strong's Concordance in the Hebrew is to gather and collect. God gave orders to gather together the strangers, to gather them into and out of the fields, to gather together all the Jews, to gather together the waters out of the sea, to gather together the outcasts, to gather also the silver and the gold, to gather to heap up, to gather the stones together. I will gather you. I have gathered them into their own land. Gather in the Greek, in Matthew chapter 24, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other, to gather, to collect. Sunspot 3664 will be earth-facing starting again on May 29th, leading up through the time that we're watching, June 1st, June 2nd, when the Devil Comet will be closest to Earth. I will leave all the links for you of the videos I have done recently pointing to June 2nd as the possible timing for the rapture of the church. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.